Alrighty, hello there, my name is James, and right now we're going to learn how to solve for a side in right triangles. Alright, so here we have a pretty typical problem. We have our uh, unknown over here, which is what we're trying to solve, okay? This line AC, side AC. We're trying to find out how long is it, right, the length of it. We're given two pieces of information. This angle right here, let's uh, curve it a little. Uh, this angle is 40 degrees, okay? And side BC is six units long, okay? Now, is this enough information to solve the triangle and figure out how long the side is? Yes, it is, okay? Now, if you remember Sokotoa, I'm gonna write it down. So, Katoa. Okay, we need to figure out which of these three functions we're gonna use to solve the triangle, okay, and solve the problem. Well, relative to our 40 degrees, this side would be our adjacent, right? Because it is adjacent to the 40. A side BA is obviously our hypotenuse because it is the longest side. And if we uh, all draw a line all the way over here, you'll find our opposite, okay? Because it is really far away, it is opposite, the opposite side, okay? So we've labeled our triangle, that is excellent, pat yourself on the back. <laughs> And you can see that A and O are what information we're given, okay? See how on side BA there's nothing written here? Exactly, so we're not going to use H, we're not going to use our hypotenuse. So what function has A and O in it? Well, it's going to be TOA, right? Our tangent has an O and an A. So what we can do is right opposite over adjacent. So that's going to be opposite is x because, well, we don't really know what it is. Over 6 equals the tangent, because we're using the tangent function, of 40. So just pretty much stick this number, grab it, and just put it in here, okay? So we got x divided by 6 equals tangent over 40. And obviously, we're trying to solve for x, okay? This x represents side AC. And if we can find the length of that side, then you get to pass your math test, okay? So, uh, how can we separate this x from this 6, right? Because if we can remove the 6, we should be able to find out what x equals. Well, what we can do is grab this 6 and just pretty much stick it all the way at the end and multiply it, okay? So, let me uh, rewrite it so it's a little easier to understand. So, we got x equals, we just removed the... 6, and we're pretty much just going to multiply 6 by this tangent of 40. So we got x equals 6 times the tangent of 40. Great. Okay, and this is your pretty much your clean answer. Uh, if you want to round to like the nearest hundredth, uh, we, you should get x equals 5.03. Okay. And that is your answer. How cool is that? So this side right here, this question mark, it's like, what does it equal? It equals 5.03. Uh, I know relatively about that. Not exactly, but you get the general idea, okay? Pretty cool. Let's move on to the next problem. All right, so we're given another problem. Obviously, there's a question mark here, which means we need to solve for the length of side BA. We got a B all, all the way there and an A there. So B, A. Okay, so let's solve this triangle, okay? So we got a 25 degrees right here. It's pretty nice. I like 25. Ang uh, angle CAB, okay? So 25 degrees. And so let's see what these two uh, thingamabobbers and how they're related to this 25 degrees, okay? So pretty much we're just lab labeling our triangle. So obviously this is going to be our hypotenuse, which is uh, H. I just like to write that down. We got a, an adjacent over here. And we're going to draw a nice big line, and this will be our opposite side, okay? Pretty nice. We labeled our triangle. And let's solve for X, or this question mark. They should have wrote X, but I don't know. 
So what function are we going to use? Well, we have an H and we have an A, okay? We're not using O because, well, there's nothing written here, okay? <clears throat> so if we remember our so katoa, so katoa, you see that the cosine has an A and an H, an adjacent and a hypotenuse. So let's use that. Let's write 4 over X because, well, you know, uh, <laughs> cos of 25, okay? Great. So 4 over X because adjacent over hypotenuse, right? 4 over X equals cos of 25, okay? And how are we going to separate the X this time? Well, we'll, what we can do, we can grab this 4 and stick it on top of the cos of 25, okay? So it's going to be 4 divided by cos of 25. So let's rewrite this. x equals 4 divided by the cos of 25. Okay, great. And that is our answer. So pretty much here is the how to solve it in a nutshell. If, uh, if the number is on top, you just do that number divided by your function, okay? If the number is on the bottom, let's say over here as the denominator, you can just multiply by this function, okay? So we have x equals 4 divided by cos of 25, and if you want to reduce it, I guess, a little bit more, it should get x equals... 4.41 if we round to the nearest hundredth so that is your answer and uh, here is the side right here this x so we can write 4.41 okay pretty neat okay awesome let's move on to the next problem okay here is problem number three excellent so we got a nice big 70 over here. Let's label our triangle. Uh, this will be our hypotenuse right here. This will be our adjacent. And of course, this will be our opposite. So our, our triangle is labeled. Let's find out what function to use. So we got an H and we got an O, okay? So O and H is sine. So we're going to use uh, its opposite over hypotenuse. So x divided by 4 equals the cosine of 70. Great. So now how are we going to remove this 4 so we can find out what x equals? Well, just like in problem number 1, what we can do is grab this 4 and just pretty much multiply by sine of 70. Okay. So the answer is going to be x equals 4 times the sine of 70. Okay, we can box that answer. That is pretty much the most accurate answer, but uh, your teacher will probably make you round it to the nearest something. So uh, this side is going to equal 3.76. That is if we round to the nearest hundredth. So that is pretty cool. Okay, let's move on to the next problem. Okay, here is problem number four, okay? We have a really tall triangle. I should have rotated it, but oh well. Let's label our triangle. So our hypotenuse is gonna be this side right here, side BA. Our adjacent is gonna be right here where this X is. And this will be our opposite. Okay. So how are we going to do this? Well, if you remember your Sokotoa, Sokotoa, let's look at what function we're going to use. So we have an A because there's an X here. So we're going to count this A. And we have an O, okay, because there's something over here. So we've got an A and an O. It means we're going to use our Toa. Okay, in our Sokotoa. So we're going to write down opposite over adjacent, so which is 4 over x, because see, uh, 
O opposite is 4, and adjacent is x. So 4 over x equals what? Um, yeah, we're using tangent, so tangent of 20. Okay, great. So let's grab this 4 and pretty much just stick it on top, okay? So now we have 4 divided by tangent of 20, and we can remove the 4 over here. So our answer is x equals 4 divided by tangent of 20, okay? Great, and we can box the answer. So let's go back to our x over here, and let's uh, calculate it. You should get uh, 10... 0.99 wow what a number if you round to the nearest hundredth okay great so that is it right there that is our answer let's do one final problem just to really seal the deal and uh, hope you can uh, understand it 1000% okay this is our last problem let's go ahead and solve this bad boy okay so let's label our triangle this will be our hypotenuse because it is the longest side. This will be our adjacent because, well, it is really close to the side. And this side is going to be our opposite because it's like so far away. Okay. So we label our triangle. Congratulations. We're going to write down this thing again, thingamabobber. And let's see what goes on. So we have an H and we have an A. So that looks like we're going to use cosine. Sweet. Awesome. So cosine is A over H, adjacent over hypotenuse. Let's write an X over 5 equals the cosine of 70. Okay, great. So this is uh, pretty much an answer, but your teacher will usually want you to, uh, you know, write it out, like round it. So if you round it out, it should be 1.71, okay? That is your answer, okay? Actually, you know what? I did not even simplify it. Wow, forgive me for that. That is so embarrassing. Uh, well, yeah, the answer is 1.71. Spoiler alert. Sorry for that. Um, let's remember if the number is on the bottom, on the denominator, below the x, we can get it and multiply it by whatever we got going on over here, okay? So x equals 5 times the cos of 70, okay? So this is pretty much the simplified answer. This is exactly what x equals. This is just, you know, I'm the not simplified enough. Okay, and if you put stick this in your calculator, you'll get 1.71 rounding to the nearest hundredth okay that is how you solve for a side in right triangles i hope you found this video uh helpful informative exciting and everything in between okay thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one